Hey guys, it's HMK, and I'm going to bring to you another Kingdom Hearts video. Now, I hope you have the energy for it, because today, I'm going to talk about why you should be hyped for Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. Now, after the success of 1.5 Remix, there has been a lot of buzz about this game, but I feel that there should be a lot more buzz and a lot more hype for the second coming of the Remix titles. And I'm going to construct a video saying why, and here are my reasons. So, let's get hyped. Why you should be hyped for Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. Now my first reason is you're getting two of what I believe are the best games in the Kingdom Hearts series. Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts Breath by Sleep playable. Final Mix in HD. Now when it comes to comparing the two Kingdom Hearts games, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 1, I'm sorry, but Kingdom Hearts 2 is my favorite in regards to comparing the two titles. Kingdom Hearts 1 was good, but Kingdom Hearts 2 kind of just blew it out of the water for me. It had more abilities, better combat, faster combat, more grander schemes, and an older sword. I mean, in my opinion, Kingdom Hearts 2 was better than Kingdom Hearts 1. And when comparing Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep to Kingdom Hearts Rechain Memories, <laughs> there is no competition there. Birth by Sleep definitely blows that sucker out of the water. You get three stories, Terra, Aqua, and Ventus, and such a gripping tale. And it sets up a lot of lore and legends for the Kingdom Hearts mythology. I mean, that game is just great. So, when it comes to the overall package, when compared to Kingdom Hearts 1 Reach and Memories versus Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep, I'm sorry, but HD 2.5 Remix it has the vote in my opinion. The next reason is that you get two HD Final Mix games instead of one. Now back in the first game, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, you only got one Final Mix game, which was Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Rechained Memories was its own kind of remixed version of itself already because it was Rechained Memories. Though the content of Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix was cool, the content of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix simply blows it out of the water again. This includes replayable battles against the entire Organization 13, including the heavily desired fight against Roxas. It also has new weapons, expanded scenes, and more battles including the Mushroom 13 and the Lingering Will who is a pretty bad f***er. And it also has Critical Mode among others. This Final Mix you also get with Final Mix Birth by Sleep Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> kinda jumbled out around Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix which also carries a plethora of added materials that even supersedes the North American version of Birth by Sleep which had more than the Japanese version. So I mean, come on, two instead of one? Two for the price of one? Come on, where, where are you gonna go? 2.5 or 1.5? Get hyped, people! Now speaking of the third game, well technically third game that we get, which is only cutscenes from Recoded. This is also going to beat out 350 over 2 days. I'm not talking about story or gameplay or anything like that, but this time around in HD 2.5 Remix, Recoded is getting expanded and new scenes added to its HD cinematics. It was confirmed that more cutscenes will be created and added to this package to better tell the story and help build a better bridge to Dream Drop Distance which gives an awesome opportunity to add more lore and delicious story for the overall scheme for me to tinker with or for anyone to mess with. So I mean, it's getting bigger and better even with just cinematics. Next up is carefully remastered HD graphics. Now, if Kingdom Hearts 1.5 is any testament on how well the game can look after 10 years in HD, then I've got high hopes for 2.5. And Nomura did state that he'll be working to make 2.5 look even better than 1.5. So that's definitely something to get hyped about. I mean, because 1.5 looked f***ing great to me. It was beautiful even after 10 years after getting the HD treatment. So if 2.5 is going to look better than that, oh boy, chickity check it. Get hyped. Now, my final reason is kind of weird. Though this may not happen, it also grants a chance to give out some cool extras with the game physically and digitally. Now, in Kingdom Hearts 1.5, it had a pretty cool art book when you pre-order the game. So, for 2.5, maybe we can get some cool stuff. I mean, that Square Enix official survey did hint on some possible pre-order stuff. Maybe a f***ing Wayfinder? Gooby, please! Also, maybe some Easter eggs in the game that will point to more cool stuff of Kingdom Hearts 3. Maybe? Come on, maybe. Yeah, the possibilities are there. Man, when you think about it, it just gets really, really 
hyped. We can expect a release sometime this year, with new information that's been promised to us coming soon and with the chance to show off at E3. Also, the fact that all recording for the game has been completed since March, it may not be too long for the game to be released, as voice recording is typically one of the last things you do when developing a game. So you all should get hyped for the game and be excited for its release, as with the advent of 1.5 and 2.5, it sets the grand stage for Kingdom Hearts like never before. Kingdom Hearts 3 ain't coming. So, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to HMK. It'll really help me out a lot. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comment section below. And until the next Kingdom Hearts or the next hype video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. Stay hyped, people!